In the cold lands of the north, there lived a strong warrior named Ragnar. He was famous for his bravery in battles, but also for his quick temper that flared up like the winter fires. One winter night, after returning from a victorious fight, Ragnar heard troubling news. A nearby clan, jealous of his success, had attacked his village, destroying crops and stealing livestock. Ragnar's heart filled with burning anger. I'll show them, he shouted, grabbing his sword and shield. I'll make them regret this. With his warriors beside him, Ragnar marched towards the enemy's fortress, his mind clouded with thoughts of revenge. I'll teach them a lesson, he bellowed, his voice echoing through the snowy hills. As they reached the enemy's gates, Ragnar charged in without a second thought. His sword swung wildly, striking down anyone in his path. But in his rage, Ragnar didn't see the trap set by the enemy chief. Suddenly, he found himself surrounded, his warriors falling one by one. The enemy chief, clever and cunning, seized the moment. With a swift blow, he brought Ragnar to his knees, wounded and defeated. As Ragnar lay there, his strength fading, he realized his mistake. His village was in ruins, his warriors gone, all because of his hot temper. In his last moments, as the cold crept in, Ragnar prayed for forgiveness. But it was too late. The tale of Ragnar and the unforgiving anger had come to a sad end. It was a reminder of the dangers of letting anger control you and the high price of acting without thinking. Anger is often viewed as a negative emotion, something to be avoided or suppressed. According to Seneca, anger can be a natural response to injustice or wrongdoing, but it is our reaction to anger that defines its impact on our lives. Imagine yourself in a moment of anger, feeling like a storm is brewing inside you. This is when the Stoic way comes to help, just like it did for Ragnar. The first step is easy, pause and take a breath. Like Ragnar before a battle, stop right there. Breathe in slowly, then out again. Feel the anger settle like snowflakes finding their place. Next, think before you act. Ask yourself, can I really change what's happening? What might happen if I react now? It's like looking at a map in a blizzard, trying to find the best path. Then comes separate what you can control. Like Ragnar focusing on what he could defend, think about what you can do something about. Let the things you can't change drift away, like leaves in the wind. With a clearer mind, assess the situation clearly. Picture stepping back from the storm, seeing it like a puzzle to solve. What's the smartest move here? Finally, when you've thought it through, choose your response wisely. It's like picking the right tool for a job. Decide on a calm, sensible action. This way, you steer clear of making things worse. So, when anger threatens to pull you under, remember these simple steps. Pause, think, and act wisely. Let the Stoic method be your anchor in the storm, guiding you to a place of peace and clear-headed decision-making. Until next time, stay Stoic, my friends.